Hey folks, I wanted to run down our top five climate shocks of late, the stories that really matter for the long term. Sure, we could be covering centuries of changing science, but here we're just going to stick to the modern rebellions against the mainstream global warming narrative, that one where it's all our fault. Number five is Princeton. This was the first major university to come outright and demonstrate that a key foundational flaw pervaded every climate model in existence. It's not complicated. There's a major cooling potential of cloud cycles that is underappreciated in the climate models, and those clouds are an enormous part of those models. This work was carried on since it came out in early 2018 by many different universities and groups like NASA, who updated their cloud briefing page just a few weeks later. It was after two more confirming papers that they took Princeton's conclusions to another level. They condemned the certainty with which climate forecasts are delivered, and indeed, once again condemned the models as being, at very least, needing to be ten times better to ever dream of making such conclusions and statements about the climate future. Now, while the skies are covered by Princeton and NASA, it was Yale that kicked off the oceanic uncertainty with their warning of a cold climate bomb waiting to be unleashed. The freshwater melt waiting to come out of the Beaufort gyre can dramatically affect the planet, including the breakdown of circulation patterns that keep the northern hemisphere temperate. And indeed, the actual data on ocean temps has actually been under question for a while. This mostly began in Europe with the Met Office scientists suggesting that there were errors that kill our ability to make large-scale definitive statements. And just last week, Harvard joined in. These four scientists not only confirm the poor record of ocean data, but go into some detail about how it got that way. This paints a very unfriendly picture for the major claims of climate science. But alas, the claims made by climate activists are probably the worst of all. The UN has now thrice condemned their activities and discourse as extremist, borderline terroristic, but most importantly, not borne out by the actual science. You know, there's a reason the UN let in solar particle forcing in advance of their 2022 major report. It will be the first one to ever contain it. Thus far, the papers using that data set are showing a very different story of climate attribution. And with the rest of the century likely to have increased cosmic ray cloud production and the release of Yale's cold climate bomb, this is painting a very unfamiliar picture of the future climate for many. Do you want to know more? Well, first... Please know, we remain firm on the concept that pollution poisons the water, air, and soil. The fact remains that the climate is just a different story. We should stop polluting because this is our Earth, and we should not be fooled into thinking that the climate aspect of modern changes are our fault. If you can accept that we hate pollution, and you want to know why the universities, and especially the UN, is changing the game, Watch the full video, Climate Forcing. It is the whole story. It is free, and it's right here on YouTube. There is no reason for you to wait until the 2022 next official global report. The science is already coming out now. Be safe, everyone.